Hey there, it's me, Sapphire Moonbeam. I'm going to pick just a few cards, pull a few cards from Tarot and Lenormand and an Oracle deck of my own, and we'll see what kind of collective message we receive here. Just take what resonates, leave behind what does not. I do want to remind you that I do private readings. You can send me a message at sapphiremoonbeam.com if you'd like me to do a reading just based on your energy. The first card that flipped over was the Strength card. Since it's in the upside down position, that tells me you may not be feeling very strong lately. It's okay. We all have um, times when we feel stronger than others. Everything in nature and everything in our lives goes through stages and it ebbs and flows. The next card here is the Nine of Cups. This is the wish upon a star type of card. Something that you are hoping that will come true that's something that feels very emotional to you is almost complete. Because the nine for me is close to the ten and the tens are about completion of a phase. So continue to be strong because there's going to be a twist of fate or something that changes and you're going to feel much more comfortable and confident as this person sits there with all the full cups around him. And here's the next card. It came out upside down as well. This is the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card of hard work. This is a card of accomplishments that you've worked for and things like seeds that you have planted for abundance and things that you'd like to see grow in the future. Um, this coming out upside down just kind of tells me that it's been hard to be patient before this wish upon a star type of card comes through for you. I, I do think that it's possible to get what you desire. You're going to have to continue to be strong and patient and um, let the time pass and see what opportunity arises for you. Now I'm going to pick a couple of Lenormand cards. Whoa, one almost fell off the table. So yeah, that's the mice. This is about having some stress about things that you've invested in, that you're waiting to see them grow and show that they are going to be, you know, abundant, worthwhile, um, blossoming in positive ways. This is feeling stressed about that, but the, um, the mice card here in the Normand for me is about knowing that you are scrappy and um, creative and you're not going to go hungry. Don't let the fear of not having enough abundance dissuade you from something that you really, really want. And this card came out before I even started the video. There is a new message coming. There is a new bit of information that is coming, but it's going to take some time still. This is a this is an old-fashioned handwritten letter. To me, this says not only is there new information coming and it will take some time to arrive, but this will be something that's heartfelt and meaningful and have um, more of a foundation than something that came quick and came easy. So there's something new that is brewing for you. There is a new message that has to do with a dream come true. I know that when I rhyme that it's it's significant and it's coming through um, in a way that take notice. So these two cards ooh, came out as well. Um, let's talk about this first. There's Anubis. Anubis is the god of the dead, the god of the underworld. This is being protected and guided by the divine through a big new phase of your life, a new change. Even though you may not feel strong, you've got the guidance of the universe there around you. This is either involving a male, you could be a male. Um, this change, I don't see this as a negative card, to be honest. I see this as 
someone's world turning upside down. Um, I always try to be optimistic regarding things that, that are showing the upside down. Um, because we have had other cards that came that way. Um, the tea leaf read card is success is assured with good plans and hard work. This is a golden egg. This is a golden opportunity. There may be um, a gentleman involved and um, it's he's going to help turn the world upside down for you and, and this new abundance. Oh, wow. And this is the, I pull these blind. Um, it says wishbone, a wish is granted. This, this card, this nine of cups that we talked about earlier, to me that almost looks like someone that's a magic genie just emerged from a bottle. There is definitely some success, good plans, hard work on the way. Try not to let the stress, um, get in the way of, of what you really hope for. I'm going to pull one card from my Moonbeam Magic Oracle deck. This is my self-published deck, and I created 46 energy paintings, and I wrote a guidebook that goes with it. In case you've never seen my videos, there's the guidebook. Here's the cards. This is the, the nice deck box that it comes in. So there's two that came out here. Let's see. What do we got? Ooh, moonbeams. This is a card that talks about really shining, showing your heart, getting out there, showing how ever, showing everyone how beautiful and vibrant, creative, and unique that you really are. And love wave. Again, dealing with the heart, being vulnerable, showing your true self, being authentic with others is going to bring you this newfound success, a wish come true. Dreams are on the way. There's good stuff. I, I'm, I'm happy for you. If you watched the video, if you felt like it called to you, if you think it would speak to someone else too, please share it with them. You can, again, send me a message at sapphiremoonbeam.com if you'd like to get a private reading based on just your energy. So I always like to stop the videos or end them by saying, I wish you peace. I wish you love. I wish you blessings. Be well.